So I'm going to start with an easy question. Hand poke tattoos, what is that exactly? Um, hand poke tattooing is, well, the way I do it is um, just a tattoo needle taped to a chopstick. And I just literally cut out the whole machine and power pack thing and just poke the the ink into the skin with the needle. I guess that's the easiest way to describe it. Why not the machinery? Is it just intimidating or you just prefer this technique? Um, well, I guess like a lot of tattooists now, they start with hand poke. It's because it's easy to like pick up a needle and have a play, mm. have a little go at home, you know. Um, but I did, that's exactly what I did. I was a piercer um, for a couple of years before I started tattooing. And I learned about hygiene and cross-contamination and things like that um, while being a piercer. And I lived with tattooists and I drew all day in the studio while I was waiting for piercings to come in because I went to art college and my mum's an artist and things like that. So the art side of it was always there. And then one night at home I was just like, to my friend who I lived with, who was a tattooer as well, I was like, let me have a go, like, let me have a go at hand poking you. Yeah. And uh, I did, I did like this little symbol on her leg and it just went from there and I fell in love with it almost instantly. I was like, I really want to, like, this is something I want to get good yeah. at, you know, like, I re would really like to be good at this. This would be sick. Um, and yeah, it just went from there, just fell in love with it. And ever since then, like, pushed myself, but never wanted never have I wanted to try machines like I've tried machines do you know what I mean like I could probably set up a machine for you like I could put the needle and the grips together um, but as far as like running it and what voltage and stuff I have no idea like <laughs> literally no well, idea. you don't need to know yeah. yeah exactly I work with sticks <laughs> much better. literally um, but I've had a go when you know with a friend on an evening at the shop <laughs> casual yeah casual like um, but no, never really like, I thought, I've always thought like, I wanna, if I was ever gonna use machine, I'm not ruling it out, cause it's never say never, but I want to become the best handbook artist that I can become. Yeah. And I personally can't do that if I'm trying to juggle the two, because yeah. it will just take off my, um, like, it will just take off my focus from hand poking and I don't want that because I want to like, I want to nail it. I want to like, on my deathbed I want to think like, fuck I was good at that, you know? <laughs> like, I want to feel like, proud of myself. Yeah. So yeah, I just really concentrate on that really. Are there any limitations to it compared to the machinery technique? Is there anything that you um, can't do or it's harder? Well it's, I, I do mainly dock work, like I just work with patterns and dots and like pointillism, so for hand poking it's good. Um, I didn't ever used to do lines the first like year or so because I was still learning and I was scared and I don't want to fuck people's skin up enough, you know, I don't want to start doing lines, fucking them up more. And then I just took that, that delve one day and I just, just naturally started doing lines and like anyone at the beginning they were a little bit crooked and a little bit questionable but then I really focused on it and I really wanted to be like I wanted my work to stand out anyway on its own but I wanted to stand out from like other hand poke artists and dot work artists and hopefully that's what I've like hopefully that's what I'm doing but just keep trying to do something good and original you know but I don't let the fact that I have I do hand poke and not machine like deter me from like doing big things and like it's a lot quicker than you think it's probably the average is the same dot work artist by machine maybe the lines aren't as quick but the lines aren't forever you know like I can line a the average under boot piece that I do would like I can line a, a mandala on the stomach in a couple of hours, which I think is the That's average. That's pretty good, isn't it? I think yeah. I'm yeah, I'm not sure. Like obviously compared to like a lot of the old boy traditional guys who can like mm. bang out <laughs> fucking line a full line back shut. piece in like a couple of hours. Yeah, I'm not quite there yet, but never say You're never. You're only young. Yeah, I'll get there. Yeah. Definitely. But I'm getting faster every day.